Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pi Supply switch, which is an ATX style switch for the Raspberry Pi. This Pi Supply switch allows you to keep your power adapter plugged into the wall socket, so you don't have to keep switching it on and off or removing it. The Pi Supply switch allows you to turn the Raspberry Pi on and off, and also do a soft shutdown as well. So let's see what we've got inside. Get it all out. So first up we have a welcome card again from Pi Supply. There's some information on the back and some web links too. Also got some cool Raspberry Pi stickers. So let's see that all these components are. So first up we've got the main PCB. This is obviously a self-assembly kit. If you want to find out how to assemble this, then go to pisupply.com forward slash makerzone. So we've got here a USB-A socket. We've got a 5 volt relay, so this is used for the switching of the Raspberry Pi. We've got three tactile buttons. So one is to turn the Raspberry Pi on. One is to turn it off, and the other one is to do a soft shutdown. We've also got some, we've got a capacitor here, 16 volt, 220 euro fired. We've got some diodes to protect the circuitry. We've got some resistors. We've got a couple of transistors as well to do the switching. Uh, we've got a nice little LED, so this will give you a good indication of what's going on on the board. We've got a couple of jump pins there, so what you'll need to do is once you've assembled it, you need to connect this jumper cable from the Pi Supply switch to the Raspberry Pi. So this will allow you to do the soft shutdown of the Raspberry Pi. Also comes with a USB to micro USB cable. So once you've assembled the circuit, what you want to do is connect your mains power adapter to the micro USB port on the Pi Supply switch. And then you want to connect this to the Raspberry Pi from the Pi Supply switch to the Raspberry Pi's micro USB port. So that's everything. If you have any questions, then pop them in the comments box below. For further inf information on the Pi Supply switch, go to pisupply.com. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, we'll see you then.